Hi, welcome to Little Wars TV. I'm Josh and this is a two minute terrain tutorial on the Battle of Fallujah. This video will show you how I quickly constructed that tabletop. The tabletop was roughly five foot by six foot square, but it breaks down into individual 12 inch or one foot square blocks. And the blocks consist of walls and buildings, some of which are removable and some of which are permanently attached, like here. This allows for a high um, degree of customization from, from game to game. So in the rest of this video, I'm gonna show you how to construct a modern Middle Eastern building. So for this project, you're gonna need some basic craft and modeling supplies. And don't forget a wee drop of the good stuff. So after you've determined what size building you wanna make and you've pre-cut all your walls, then you want to glue in some balsa strips on the back side of the building and that will hold up and support the roof. Then once they're dry, then I go and start gluing the walls. Uh, you can make the roof removable if you'd like, but I usually permanently attach mine. Then what you have is some exposed foam and we can use that later for some detailing on the building for, for brickwork. Now it's not critical that you use masking tape for this next step, but I find that if you do tape the corners, it does make for a nice edging when you start putting the spackling down. And there you go, now ready for spackle. Up, oh, and it looks like I need another pour. You can just slop this spackling on in any type of random way that you wish. And there you have it, spackling done. A little bit of brickwork is exposed. So after a undercoat of some primer, it, and it is ready for some, a heavy dry brush of sand colored paint. So the first dry brush is done. So now we're gonna go with a lighter shade of tan. Again, haphazard, doesn't have to be pretty. I like for my modern Middle Eastern buildings to have some sort of decoration, whether it be posters or graffiti. So what I did is I got some uh, Im an image of an imam and some Arabic, and I printed it out on you know a basic printer, and he is ready for the side of a building. Not all posters are nice and neat and clean like that, so you can mess it up by doing a little bit of dry brush. The next accessory I like to add to my modern Middle Eastern buildings are some type of air conditioning units. These are, um, I bought these online. These are, are cast resin uh, units that are, I think they're 28 millimeter scale, but they work for 20 millimeter buildings as well. And there you have it. A modern Middle Eastern building that'll work for just about any country from about 1950s or 1960s on. Thanks for joining Little Wars TV. Come back next week.